this video is purely educational and it doesn't promote any unethical content over here and you should take all the responsibility to use this information wisely because knowledge is power when used wisely so that being said now let's get into the video as you can see this is a mini hacking device that can be used for ethical hacking penetration testing and also can be used as a personal computer in this tutorial i have shown you how you can build your first hacking device and get into the amazing journey of ethical hacking so without wasting any more time let's jump in it's all about humanity. It's all about humanity. First of all, the main thing that is the compute unit or the CPU of this build. There are different options available in the market and you can freely go with them. But I choose to go with Raspberry Pi 0W because I wanted to use it as a Pon Pi, Ponagachi and Pi Tail and they officially support Raspberry Pi 0W. But you can use any other ARM board that you like like the Orange Pi or Panana Pi. So talking about Ponagachi, let me just show you the device for a reference. So this device is called Ponagachi which is used for Wi-Fi handset capturing and also can be used as a penetration testing device. Currently it is running on a Raspberry Pi 0W. So videos on this topic will be live on this channel very soon so get subscribed to the channel. Coming back to the topic, the second thing that you will be needing will be a display. Over here I am going with a 3.5 inch TFT display which gets connected through the GPIO pins. But you can use any other display that you like but make sure those support Scali Linux or Pi OS because all display doesn't support these OSs. So before buying make sure these two things. And also I wanted to go with a portable and cheap option so for this reasons only I choose this one. After this you will need an SD card over here as you can see this is a 32GB SanDisk SD card. You can also go with any other SD card available in the market but make sure it is at least 16GB and above class 10 for better user experience. Also, you will need an OTG cable to connect external peripherals like keyboard, mouse and Wi-Fi antennas. Also, you will need a micro USB cable. Over here, as you can see, this is a micro USB port, not Type-C. This type of port is required because Raspberry Pi Zero have this type of port to give the power supply to the Raspberry Pi. Also, you can buy a camera. So over here, as you can see, this is the camera module which gets connected to the CSI cables. And by default, they come with this type of cable, but Raspberry Pi Zero doesn't support this cable. So you need to buy externally a new cable like this one. Also, we can use a power bank to power the Raspberry Pi. Over here, I have connected this 3.7 volt 4000 mAh battery with a power bank module to power the Raspberry Pi. It is the similar size of a Raspberry Pi Zero so that it can be used with this project. I am using it currently with the Ponagachi so that I can you power the Raspberry Pi for around 8 to 9 hours. That's all the hardware that we will be using in this project. Okay, now let us see what are the software requirements are there and what are the configurations we need to make so that we can build our hacking setup. So first of all, as you can see, this is my Windows machine and I will be using a Linux machine which is connected wirelessly to my Windows machine. So I have shown you in the past videos that how can you set up this. So first of all, let me just open my real VNC viewer. So from here, I will connect to my Linux machine. So first of all, as you can see, this is the data sheet of the display that I will be using. So you can match that uh, model number from the with the display you are using. So over here, they have given an installation guide. But I have tried a lot of ways to make this work on a Raspberry Pi Zero, but it didn't work. So I have modified a few things so that we can use the display with this Raspberry Pi Zero. So after uh, researching, I have found out that we need to use an older Raspberry Pi OS version so that we can use the display. Because the latest Raspberry Pi OSs doesn't support the drivers that are to be given by the display. So for that I will be using this version that is 2018-03 version of the Raspberry Pi OS which is working fine with the Raspberry Pi Zero model. And I can use the touch calibration and that uh, screen is visible with these drivers installed. So first of all we need to download the file and I have provided the direct download link to these files. So just go to the description and click on the links. And it will automatically start the download of this file. After downloading the image file, now open Pi Imager. So after opening Pi Imager, scroll down on the device section and choose Raspberry Pi Zero. And on the OS, now choose the custom OS. And from here, choose the G file that we have downloaded. After that, we need to choose the storage medium. So from here, choose the internal SD card that will be connected into the Raspberry Pi Zero model. Now hit next. 
So from here we can edit the settings. I have tried the same process with editing the settings like this way but it didn't work. So we need to do this process manually by creating the file each and every file with our own hands. So for that we need to just cancel this process and we need to uh, we need to tell that no we do not want to use any edit settings. So after that we need to click yes to so that the image file will start writing on our SD card. After the flashing process has been finished, first of all reinsert the SD card to your machine. So if you are on a Windows machine, you will see only one partition that is called boot partition. But if you are on a Linux machine or any other Linux based distro, then you will see two partitions. One is boot and another is root. The root partition is the ext4 partition which will not be shown in Windows machine. But that is not required for the installation process. So first of all navigate to the boot partition and we need to create a file. So first of all, all the names of the file and the codings are given in the description. Just copy and paste as shown in the screen. So this is the most crucial part of this video. So please follow carefully. After creating this file, we need to encrypt our password that we'll be using as an e-login password. So because Raspberry Pi doesn't support any unencrypted password. So to encrypt our password, we need to copy this command from the description. So over here, as you can see, I have put Raspberry Pi as in within the inverted comma to create it into a encrypted password. So after encrypting, we'll get this type of code. So we need to just copy and paste it within our file that we created recently. So open that file. So after navigating to those file, now over here, first of all type pi, pi, then colon. There should not be any space between this. So after then paste the encrypted password. So after this, we need to save this by pressing CTRL S. So save this file. Now we need to create our second file. So for the second file, open the description and over there the name of the file will be given. So this will consist all the wireless configurations that means the router configuration the name of the router and the country from which the router belongs so first of all create a new file so what are there now name the file with this after renaming the file open the file and a code is given in the description just just copy this from the description box and paste it in the file now over the country so in this part we need to change a few things so if you do not know the country code of your country so just navigate to the link given in the description over there all the country codes of different countries are given so find according to your country so i am from india i will find my country code so over here as you can see in is the country code of india so i will use in capital letters now type your in after the SSID, so in the SSID, we need to rename it with the actual name of our router. So in my case, it is arnx underscore dot b. Now in the PSK, we need to enter the password of our router. So I will enter the password of my router. So now save this file. So after saving those files now we need to configure the config.txt file. So first copy these two lines of command from the description. Now navigate to config.txt file. Now scroll down. Now over there paste that to those two lines you have copied from the description. Now save this file. So after all these now we need to create the last file that is the ssh file. So create a new file and type SSH because by default Raspberry Pi OS doesn't allow SSH connection so we need to create it manually. Now all the configurations are done on our SD card. Now we can remove it from our computer and insert it in our Raspberry Pi. Now let's see how can we assemble all the hardware that are shown in the video. You can fly but you'll never get closer to the sun. You may rise at the price of everyone has fallen down but i'm not going down with you so you may rise but you'll never make me wanna stick around you
At this point, most of the configurations are done, only the driver installation is left. So to install the drivers, we need to get into the Raspberry Pi through SSH connection. And for that, we need to know the IP address of the Raspberry Pi because it is crucial to know the IP address to get connected to the Raspberry Pi. So to know the IP address of the devices connected to your Wi-Fi or router, we can use many softwares like Angry IP Scanner, Advanced IP Scanner and a vast amount of different options are available in the market. So I am using advanced IP scanner. So from here, I will know the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. After knowing the IP address, I will open command prompt and over there, I will type SSH Pi at the rate then the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. In my case, it is 192.168.1.3. But in your case, it may vary. So be careful in this part. After that, I will enter yes, confirm and continue the connection between our computer and our Raspberry Pi. After continuing this, we need to enter the Raspberry Pi password. So the password is Raspberry. Now at this point, there is nothing more left for me to explain to you guys. Just follow along through the video and your setup will be ready. Y'all see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down. Get too strong when I battle with the beast, bring a few on The commander and the chief for my crew on Bullets rattling and whistle at your tooth, never sleep Eyes open, hands clutching on my throat, this a war zone This a war zone Yo, this a motherfucking war zone Zone, homie, say you ready and prepare Take a minute and make them aware Well, I'll be sneaking in the back But it's what the clap, homie, life ain't fair Caught me crawling through the mud Where the vision saw I clearly Born a shepherd to these sheep Make them fear me, this a war zone Trashed out, trap house, nothing ever given Yeah, every day's a blessing Thank the Lord, oh, how I'm living See me riding with my top down Oh, cops round, pedal pressing on the gas I don't think I'll ever stop Did you make them again? 